Disney's additions to the Star Wars series have been subpar at best, and at moments even infuriating. Poor casting, bad storytelling, and attempts at callbacks and fan service are the sad but true building blocks of the Star Wars universe lately, and the use of the much-anticipated character Kylo Ren is no exception. Disney disappointed us with Kylo's dismal development. Yeah, get ready for more alliteration. If we zoom out, we can see how his character arc is basically mirroring Anakin's. Much like Anakin and Padme, Kylo's journey to the dark side really begins by killing someone he loves. Meanwhile, Rey, like Luke, continues on a path of developing skills as a Jedi and in doing so becomes more confident in her stance that Kylo Ren isn't truly lost, but still has the chance to return to the light side of the Force. And then by the end, Palpatine, predictably, once again raises hell only to end up proving the triumphant nature of the light side in the heart of a vile and vacant villain. While many of us may have been rooting for Kylo Ren's redemption, the original plan for his character was much more sinister and more unique from the story of his grandfather, Anakin. Before the dyad, or Rey and Ben Solo's Force-connected pseudo-romance, Kylo was supposed to be all aboard the dark side train. Adam Driver said in an interview that his plans for the character had changed, and in context revealed that we weren't originally going to see Kylo become more conflicted, but instead more powerful and committed to the dark side over time. This would have contrasted Kylo to Darth Vader, and interestingly created a very dangerous and difficult test for Luke. Luke had already lived to see how his father Anakin could choose to return from years of commitment to the dark side. Luke would have kept on believing that Kylo's story would be the same as his father's, and in doing so, put himself in danger and brought up meaningful philosophical narratives narratives during the newest trilogy. Unfortunately, Kylo was written to do what we all saw coming, and we are left to ask if we have already seen everything storytelling has to offer, or if Disney will begin taking risks instead of continue pandering to the public with perpetually predictable plot points.